Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot deck one card at a time. Today's video is about the Eight of Wands. This video will begin with a short description of the card. Next I'll briefly explain what the Eight of Wands means when it appears in a reading. Then we'll talk about what each element symbolizes and what the card means when it shows up in both the upright and reversed positions in a reading. I'll share some examples from my life so you can relate the card to a real-world situation. And stay tuned until the end and I'll give you several questions to help you connect with the Eight of Wands. I will be using the Rider Waite Tarot deck in this video. You'll find the link to the deck below as well as to the many books that I used in my research. So let's get started. In this card, we see eight wands moving in a downward direction from the upper left side of the card and heading down to earth toward the right side of the card. All of the wands are in parallel. Although they appear like they are suspended in mid-air, we guess that they are moving quickly and look like they will land soon. The sky is clear and blue. At the bottom of the card is a river. Above the river is a hill with a house on top of it. In the far distance, we see mountains. This is one of only two cards in the Minor Arcana that does not contain any people. The other one is the Three of Swords. When the Eight of Wands shows up in a reading, it means that you are making quick progress and things are aligned in your favor. Good things are headed your way. Any delays you've been experiencing are over and there will now be lots of action happening. You are gaining momentum and progressing rapidly towards completing your goals. Basically, whatever you've been working on will now come to fruition and soon. Let's go back to what we saw in the card and discuss what each element symbolizes. This card has eight wands. This may have been based on the image of Jacob's ladder in the Bible, where angels built a ladder for Jacob. Jacob was always accompanied by angels, and this ladder allowed him to climb up and down between heaven and earth. It does look like the wands form a bridge between heaven and earth. The fact that all eight wands are aligned can mean that you are successfully coordinating all the things you need to do in your life. Essentially, you have your ducks in a row. Pam Richards, in her book Understanding Tarot, points out that the wands are in three groups. We have four wands at the top, then two groups of two wands near the bottom. You might recall that the Four of Wands was a card about happiness and celebration, so this group may mean that you are receiving happy news that will make you feel wanted, loved, and excited. The twos may represent new ideas that will excite you, but because twos are about choice, you may have to choose between them. All of the wands are going in the same direction and are ready to land. They may take you by surprise, so this card may represent that a surprise is on its way. The sky is clear and blue. This represents having a clear mind. The people who are throwing their wands must be making their minds work in a very coordinated fashion. The message is that you must have a clear mind to create such an aligned experience. At the bottom of the card is a river. Rivers can represent going with the flow of life. They can also represent an obstacle that you must cross to reach your goals. Above the river is a hill with a house on top of it. Houses generally represent security, however this house has no roof. This means that things may not go as well as we expected. The fact that it is on a hill means that it will take a bit of work to reach your goal. There are also mountains in the far distance. Mountains are about obstacles. However, because the mountains are so far away, it indicates that you will not have to worry about obstacles. The green and yellow ground is also very positive. Green represents nature, adventure, and growth. Yellow represents the sun. It's all about positivity and clarity. When the Eight of Wands appears upright in a reading, it can mean that you'll be receiving an important message that everything is coming together for a successful resolution, that the universe is aligned in your favor, that things are happening extremely quickly. It can mean that you are rushing into something, that your energy is focused on many things at once, but it is all coming together, that you have too many choices, 
that you are a bit frantic because right now everything is up in the air and you don't know what the final outcome will be. And it can also mean that you will be traveling by air. Here's an example of the upright card from my life about things happening quickly and needing to get everything aligned in your favor. My son and his wife bought a house in the summer of 2021. This was at the end of the pandemic and people had become used to working remotely, so they wanted more space. Mortgage rates were low and there was intense competition for homes. Their experience was just crazy. The real estate agent would show them a house, they'd put in an offer, and there would be a bidding war. They'd lose the house and immediately visit another and the cycle would happen all over again. It was absolute craziness. When their offer was accepted, there were so many things to do in parallel to make sure that the deal would come through. I'm happy to say that the universe and mortgage company aligned in their favor and they are happy in their home. But it is so strange that they made one of the biggest investments of a lifetime after a 15 minute visit and not even knowing if they were going to get the house. When the Eight of Wands appears reversed in a reading, it can mean that you are experiencing delays, that things are happening too quickly for you to keep up and you are paralyzed because you have so many choices, that you are taking unnecessary risks. It can mean that the communication gets lost or goes to the wrong person, that a situation doesn't get resolved and drags on, or that you are free of restraints. Look at this card when it is reversed. All of the wands are heading up toward heaven and it can specifically refer to air travel delays. Here's an example of the reversed card from my life about delays in communication. This card makes me think of what it's like when someone you love has an accident. You know they've been taken to the emergency room and you're waiting for news and you expect to get an update in two hours and you're now in hour number five and you haven't heard anything. Of course you expect the worst and time just kind of crawls by. So that's the feeling to me of the Eight of Wands reversed. Here are some questions to help you connect with the Eight of Wands. Number one, do you have things happening in your life that have you excited and energized? Number two, are you comfortable taking quick action when it is required? Number three, are you trying to do too many things at once? Number four, are you rushing into something? And number five, are you finding that there are obstacles that are keeping you from reaching your goals? What are you doing to overcome these? I'd love to have you post your answers or insights in the comments below this video. And then please join me for the next card, the Nine of Wands.